Hello and welcome to today's Ramadan Yoga Flow. So you might be fasting and you might be low in energy. That's why I have prepared this wonderful short yoga flow for you and hopefully it will help you to ease some of your body aches and makes you feel happy and great for the rest of the day. So without further ado, let's get started. Come to a comfortable seated position. You can either sit on a yoga block or a cushion, resting your hands on your thighs and just start to close your eyes. Start to soften your shoulders. Relax your eyelids completely. Relax the whole facial muscles. Just enjoy the stillness around you. Observing your breath. Observing your in-breath and out-breath. How does it feel to breathe today? If you want, you can Compare the length of the in-breath to the out-breath. Okay, now you can start to open your eyes and we're going to move a little bit. All right, just stretch out those legs to the side. You can shake them out a little bit and then we're going to change the side of the crossing. Taking the other shin forward and we're going to do a few shoulder rolls. So with the in-breath, you're going to lift the shoulders all the way up towards the ears. And exhale, you're gonna roll them back and down in your own time. Inhaling, gonna lift the shoulders all the way up towards the ears. Exhale, back and down in your own time. If I'm too fast, you can slow it down. Inhale towards the shoulders. Exhale, back and down. Very nice. Inhaling. Exhaling, beautiful, a few more of these, inhaling, exhale, roll the shoulders back and down, one more time, inhaling, and then exhale, very nice, now the other way around, so inhale up towards the ears, now forward and down, again, inhale towards your ears, and then forward and down, very nice. Inhaling, exhaling, again, inhale, mm, very nice, okay, all right, now you're going to take your right hand to the right side, if you want a bit further away, if you want a bit closer towards you, up to you. Now lift your opposite arm, the left arm up, inhale, reach it all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale, you're going to lean all the way now to the right side. Now you can also start to bend your lower arm. If that doesn't work, don't worry. Just go as far as you can. It should feel great. No need to go too far into the postures. We just want to move our bodies. Moving with our breath. You can relax your shoulders completely. 
relax your right ear towards your right shoulder. And an inhale, come back up. Exhale, soften the shoulders. Okay, other side. Inhale, take your left hand now to the left side. Reach your right arm up towards the ceiling as you inhale. Exhale, you're gonna reach all the way now to the left. Relax your left ear towards your left shoulder. Beautiful. If you want, bend your lower arm, the left one. Exhale, relax your hips down towards your yoga mat. Okay, I'm breathing in and breathing out. Now take the next in breath to come back to the center. Exhale, release the hands down. All right, we're going to shift now to child's pose. So you're going to bring your feet together, stretching them up backwards and then have your knees also quite close together from here you're going to take your hands far away as far as it goes without lifting the hips so you draw the hips down and then you're going to relax the forehead down towards the floor now if your head doesn't reach the floor you can either place a blanket or a cushion underneath the head if that feels good Otherwise, just leaving your head as it is. Breathing out fully. Observing how your breath is moving in your body. Now if you want, you can reach your hands a bit more forward. Relax the hips down towards your heels. Feeling that beautiful elongation of your spine. Take one more deep breath in and exhale. Very nice. You're going to take your hands back. Now we're going to sit on our heels. So for some people this is not very comfortable. So I'm giving you the option of sitting back on your heels like this. Maybe that's a bit easier, maybe a bit more comfortable. And then we're going to stretch out our necks. Take your shoulders back and down. Inhale, lift the right arm all the way up towards the ceiling. Now you're gonna grab the left side of your face with your right hand. Inhale. And exhale, relax your right ear towards your right shoulder here. The left hand can do either nothing or just reaching away from you. If you want, close your eyes. Observing the sensations in your body here. Full breath in. And a full breath out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale. And exhale. One more full breath in and full breath out beautiful now use the next inhalation to come back to the center and then release your right arm all the way down moving on to the other side now inhale lift the left arm up to the ceiling exhale grabbing the right side of your face and then relax your left ear towards your left shoulder here inhale Exhale, soften both shoulders if you want, close your eyes. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, I'm breathing. 
and breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale, slowly release. Come back to center. Exhale, release your left arm all the way down. Very nice, okay. Now we're gonna come into all fours. So we're gonna warm up the spine a little bit in our cat cow posture. So you wanna have your hands in line, spread your fingers really wide, far apart as it goes. And then you're gonna have your knees on one line and your hips just above your knees. Now when you're ready, we're gonna move first into our cow posture. So as you inhale, you're gonna drop your belly, you start to arch your back, and you're gonna look up towards the ceiling here. Now with the exhalation, we're gonna reverse the movement. We're gonna tilt the pelvis forward, rounding your upper back, moving into our cat pose. Now use the in-breath to drop the belly, looking up towards the ceiling here. Bring those shoulder blades together. And then use the out-breath to come back to cat pose. Broaden your shoulder blades. Again, inhale, we're gonna look back up. If I'm too slow now, you can do it in your own speed. And then use your out breath to push the floor away, looking towards your belly. Again, inhale, drop the belly, look up. And then exhale, push the floor away. One more time, inhale. And then exhale, very nice. Coming back to our neutral all fours. Now from our all fours position, you're gonna step your right foot forward. Just take your right hand away and replace it with your right foot. And then coming up into our low lunge position. Now, if that's a little bit too uncomfortable on your left knee, you can put a cushion or a towel underneath it. And see if you have got a nice 90 degree angle with your front leg, so the knee should be above the heel. Now from here, we're gonna inhale, reach the arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, hold low lunge here. Inhale, enjoy how you are lengthening, creating space between the ribs. Exhale. Breathe in here. And breathe out. Take one more full breath in. Now you're gonna have your left arm forward and then reach your right arm back, coming into a twisted low lunge. Inhale, take those arms apart. Exhale, turn your spine to the right. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Breathe in. Exhale, turn. One more time, inhale. Now, looking back forward, reach both arms up as you inhale. Exhale, release your hands back down. Step the right foot back. All right. Moving into our first downward facing dog. So for downward facing dog, you can turn your hands slightly outwards. Spread those fingers wide, pressing those two fingers mainly the thumb and index finger down strongly and then tuck your toes under start to lift your tailbone up towards the ceiling here now in your first downward facing dog you can bend one leg at a time and you feel ooh, my calves are feeling very stiff that's 
absolutely normal. It will feel better after a few downward facing dogs. And then you can either keep your legs slightly bent or straightening them or just having one leg bent at a time. Take one more full breath in and exhale, drop your knees down. Very nice. Okay, coming first to our, our all fours position and then you're going to step your left foot now where your left hand is, coming into our low lunge position. All right. Now, inhale, we're going to lift the arms all the way up towards the ceiling again here. Exhale, hold. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. In breath. Out breath. Inhale. Exhale. Take one more breath here. Now, Take your right arm forward, left arm back, come into your twist. So imagine you pull your hands apart in both directions. And as you exhale, you keep twisting to the left. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, look back forward. And then place both hands down. Thumb into all fours. Release. Okay. So I would say let's try another downward facing dog. Maybe you want to turn out your hands a little bit more now. Tuck your toes and then lift those hips up towards the ceiling. Extend through both arms here. Maybe you want to bend one leg at a time again if that feels good. Or you can straighten them both. Up to you. So this is your, your yoga practice. And this is your body. So you do what feels best for you. Take one more full breath in here. Full breath out. One more inhale. And an exhale and release. Okay, now you're gonna take your hands back and you're gonna come into yoga squat malasana. So you're gonna bring the hands together in front of the chest and then squeeze your arms against the knees. Relax your shoulders down, close your eyes for a moment. Come back to your breath here. If your heels are not all the way down, don't worry. That will happen over time. So I've been doing this for a while. So keep lengthening your spine at the same time as you squeeze your arms against the knees. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Again, full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale. Exhale. One more full breath in here. And then we're gonna slowly sit down and we're gonna stretch the legs in front of us for Pashimottanasana. From here, inhale, reach the arms all the way up towards the sky. And then exhale, grab your big toes with the second and third finger. You might want to keep the legs a little bit bent first, lengthen your spine. And then from here, slowly getting into the pose or maybe you need to use a yoga strap here. 
Inhale. Exhale, soften a bit more with each out breath. Inhale. Okay, and then release. Now place your hands behind you and turn your hands outwards. Start to bend your legs now and then we're going to lift the pelvis up. So inhale, press your feet down, lift your pelvis up. Exhale, hold here. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale. Exhale, breathe in, breathe out. One more inhale, and then slowly coming back down. All right, moving into another twist. So now you can bring your feet together, keeping them either a bit further away from you or bringing them a bit closer towards you. And then place the right hand behind you Inhale, exhale. Now we're going to lift the left arm up. Inhale, lift the left arm up. Exhale, take it across and you're going to turn and twist over to the right side, looking over your right shoulder here. Inhale, lengthen. And then use the out breath to twist further to the right. Inhale. Exhale, turn. Inhale, exhale, breathe in, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now inhale, look back forward. Twisting to the other side, so now left hand behind you, reach the right arm up and then exhale, we're going to twist and look over to the left side over your left shoulder. Inhale, exhale, breathe in, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more breath, inhale, and exhale, slowly release, looking back forward, okay. You made it, now we're coming to our very final posture, Shavasana. You can put something warm on if you want, or use a blanket on top of you. Just have your arms by the side. Turn your feet slightly out to the side. Start to close your eyes completely. Relaxing the right and left side of the body, just letting go.